Hi friends, today I'm going to do a little bit of an update on my um, potato sprouts that I've been growing and answer a few questions like um, some people wonder why potatoes, um, why their potatoes failed. A lot of it has to do with temperature. Um, I've learned um, soil temperature, the roots grow in a temperature of 50 to 95 degrees, that's 10 to 35 Celsius. They're most active in temperatures between 59 and 58 Fahrenheit, 15 and 20 Celsius. And then the Stalins grow between 68 and 77 Fahrenheit, 20 to 25 Celsius. I'll put a link to this page that I've got on my blog and um, you're welcome to right click it and save it in your computer and use it for your future use. But um, I'm noticing from just growing these sprouts, I've got a digital meat thermometer and in the cup size that I've got here, which is a 16 ounce cup, the temperature fluctuates with the room temperature. When you um, put the thermometer in, it's, let me turn this on. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't prepared. With this being in the window, the room is 70 degrees and this is 75 degrees because of the sun, where if I keep it on the shelf under a grow light, um, the um, bulb doesn't really increase the temperature that much. It usually stays about the same temperature so by this temperature being 75 degrees it's um, at the right temperature for the Stalin to grow and basically the Stalin is the little white thing that comes out and then the potato forms within it and um, the roots let me find a different cup that shows the roots better okay here's this one see all the roots growing in there and then from the sun hitting it and this being a see-through cup see right here where another um, plant is starting to emerge from it you can also see the moisture level in this cup too um, because it's see-through I can see um, condensation um, from the sun warming up the water in here and I've also learned that the um, cups that are closer to the window, let me bring you over here, the ones up front here, get the most amount of sun. And um, the reason that they're having issues, the water is, um, the temperature is really increased in there. So what I'm going to do today is transplant these all into grow bags. And... Um, That'll make it um, harder for the temperature, the sun to change the temperature. The grow bags um, I ordered are um, surprising. They've got holes in the around the sides and in the bottom, and all the soil falls out of them. So I've taken, and I'm going to have to put them into another container, so I can't. Outside this would be no issue, but inside it's a bit of an issue. And then I'm going to take a just a regular cardboard box that will fit in the window. And I've put a plastic trash bag that's non-scented over it. And I'm going to tie it off at the end and plant directly in it. Or transplant directly into it. And then... Um, you can also use the big black trash bag. You know, the black is going to create or attract more heat. If your house is cold and the room is cold, you'd want to use this where um, I'm going to try to repel some of the sun, so I'm going to use the white one. And I'm going to more than likely put these um, under the grow lights at night because um, they need more sunlight. Here, um, the sun is starting to increase daytime lengths, 
and it's starting the intensity is getting a lot more like spring so it's kind of exciting you know the feeling of spring in the air but I guess um, what I'm gonna do I was um, these were planted in pretty much um, cocoa core and I'm gonna transplant them into the happy frog potting soil that I have I think they need a lot more um, nutrition then they're getting in just cocoa core and then cocoa core you can see by using the um, cups too you can see the water level um, shrink you know I like using the cotton batting or the polyester batting at the bottom of my um, things here because the electric heat that I have dries things out and um, lowers the humidity level and this sponge acts like a sponge where it wicks up to the plant but I'm gonna go ahead and um, transfer them into the bigger bags some the happy frog and pre-moistened it I'm just gonna put a small layer at the bottom of the bags This one, I'm going to take all the ones that are um, pretty tall, pop them out, and save that for the next one. Put this one on the side because the dirt level is kind of breaking up. That one fully broke. Look at that one. Look at the root level. I think I'm just going to put four in a bag. the soil and bury these deeper than they were in the cup that way um, they'll start growing just like you're hilling up the potatoes outside that one deeper by having more soil the temperature won't fluctuate so much when it you know temperature in the room changes or anything like that I'll go ahead and put five in a bag, put another one in the center. Do we have another tall one? show you an example of um, these guys are just now starting to sprout even though all these were taken off the potatoes at the same time and then let's see if this is the one this one was in the front of the window and there's two sprouts in here see all the moisture from it having just a little bit of soil the heat increased and the temperature increased in this cup to where when you take it apart 
you find nothing but the original root. It hasn't picked up, or this is from a red potato, see the red color? It um, hasn't grown at all. It's pretty much just set there. I'm going to put him in the cup here. But the temperature plays a large effect on um, your growing potatoes. That's why last summer, um, with all the rain and stuff, um, the potatoes that I had in... Um, what was it called? Grow bags. They, um, I was able to close them up and keep some of the water out, but there was not enough sunlight and there was not enough um, warmth in the ground to produce a lot of potatoes. So that's why I only got a few small potatoes off of some plants where um, the Pontiac, red Pontiac did really well in the raised hugel culture bed. The wood underneath of it allowed all that water to flow through and dissipate. And um, I grew some of the best um, red Pontiacs last summer, where the um, Yukon Gold, that's what they were called. Um, the potato just, um, the seed potato just melted from all the excess water that we have. Now let me go get my seed potatoes that these came from and show you how they have came along. Okay, here's the seed potatoes, the um, white ones that um, I took a lot of the sprouts off of. They developed even more new sprouts, but by keeping them in a cool room with some sunlight exposure, um, it's produced a lot more um, shoots. And um, the green keeps them from growing. I gotta get some more sun exposed to them today, but temperature-wise, they feel really cold. And they should make it um, till March, or you know, depending on temperatures in March, they'll go out into the ground. Or I'm gonna take and do some pole sprouts on them. But this is gonna produce quite a bit of more potatoes. Here's the, I forgot to show you this one. This is the potato that I left set in the window for um, three weeks before I took the um, sprouts off of it. Grab the potato. Here's the original plant. When you leave the tuber attached to it, this acts like the mama and gives it all the nutrition and s support that it needs while it's growing taking it off it's kind of on its own but you can um the benefit of this is you can multiply a lot of plants off of the one i'm going to take it and transplant it into this box i'm putting some of the cotton banding down here to ensure moisture wicking Actually should have used the sponge that was already in here but let's get these guys out but you can see look at that how much more roots and how healthy the plant is by leaving it attached to the um, potato for three weeks versus 48 hours Um, what do you call it? Potato peels are still in here, but they're not doing much because they're in the top half inch of the soil. And they're experiencing a lot of drying out. And um, because the cocoa core dries out so fast. And the little side shoot one.
bury the potato sprouts in there. like you would outside. You don't want to hill up too much because um, potatoes normally don't grow more than um, at the most, you know, 12 inches above the seed potato. And not many potatoes grow that far up. Most potatoes, especially short season, grow underneath, the um, right above the potato all in one level going out and down. So they're, all you need to do is hill up enough on them, like this one right here, um, to um, keep the potatoes from being exposed to the sunlight. so short. And you really want to keep the soil loose. You don't want to tamp it down too much. Only enough to keep the plant, you know, sturdy enough to stand up. My cat seems to be interested in the soil. It's like, ooh, soil. Let me try some. But this is my, you know, what do you call it, update for today. Thanks for watching.